wanna be on top. Hey guys, it's Hart and welcome to the first official week of AGNDM Cycle 6. I received 12 beautiful photos this week under the theme of quarantine, so let's get straight into it. The first photo is from Anna and I really like this scene. I think all of the props are so cool and how much work you put into it was amazing. It's so detailed, which I really appreciate. And I think the people fighting over the toilet paper in the back is a realistic yet sad touch. And also the um, empty shelves were really nice because it's so realistic because at least at the beginning of this pandemic, the shelves were so empty and people were fighting over stuff. Um, I don't really have much to critique about this photo other than Anna's looking off to the side a little bit. So just make sure she's making eye contact with the camera because I know that was your intention and brighten up her eyes a little bit. But otherwise, I really liked this photo. The next photo is from Armani and I love the whole vibe of this picture. Uh, and pink is my favorite color, so I really like that aspect of it too. I think it does a good job of representing what the average teenager is doing during this quarantine, like doing homework, eating, going on their phone, and maybe even making music. And I know I've been seeing a lot more than I normally do during this quarantine, so I understand that. I really like the lights on the walls and how the colors work together in this picture. And I would just say maybe brighten up the shadows a little bit because their eyes are looking a little dark, but other than that, I love this. The next picture is from Blair, and I absolutely love this picture. The colors in this photo are so pleasing, and I think you did a great job with the color harmonization. And the reality of this whole situation is that everyone's plans are getting canceled and postponed, and you did a good job of representing that in this picture. And she actually sent me a little like story that goes along with her photo, so I'm going to read it just so it makes more sense to everyone. So this is what it said. Blair was so sad that her family's wedding was postponed for another year. She worked so hard on planning the wedding and decorating for her family relatives. She was looking forward to having fun, but when this coronavirus got in the way, she had no other choice other than to postpone it until 2021. Now she, that she's in her family's B&B, she has more time to come closer to her family and keep the flowers and plants growing. And of course cooking her ultimate creme brulee even though she can't eat dairy stuff. She always wants to cook every night for her family during quarantine. So that was the backstory for this and I think it is so cute and such a great concept. Um, I really like how Blair's framed by the bed in her dress. Technically speaking this is an amazing photo, but without the background story I don't know that someone would know this was for the theme of quarantine, but with the story I think it's a great photo and you did a great job with it. The next one is from Caroline and this is such a cute idea. We're all bored and trying to have, find ways to have fun during quarantine, so I think this is a super relatable photo. I love all the little details of it and the lights in the background and some visual interest which is really nice. And I may have taken a wider shot of this picture just so you can see a little bit more of the scene. And then brighten up her eyes because Caroline has beautiful mint green eyes that everyone loves and I think that they're being a little bit drowned out by the setup. Given I know that this photo is supposed to be on the darker side, but just brightening up her eyes I think would add a lot more to the photo. But overall, great job. The next photo is from Evangeline and this is such a cute photo. I love the lighting in this. It is so nice and bright. And I think we've all been stuck in our beds at one point or another during this quarantine and we ended up being dramatic about it. So I think that's really cute how she's posed and everything. And this photo is super relatable and also very technically sound. I think her eyes look nice and bright. And she's definitely the main focus of the, of the picture. And I don't mind the window in the background. Normally I would say that it's like backlit, but it's not. It's just a nice white light coming in. I just think it adds to the atmosphere of the photo, so great job. The next photo is from Juliet, and this is a really cute idea. I love how the angle that she's holding is actually like she's holding the phone. And we're all resorting to FaceTiming our friends during this time, so very relatable, fits the theme. Um, the background looks kind of like her bedroom, but I think you could have added more colors or more props that made it look like a bedroom other than just like whatever was there. Um, and I think that color harmonization would add more visual interest to your photo and I would brighten up her eyes a little bit, but overall it's a cute photo. The next photo is from Mindy, and I really like this picture, and I think it's a good representation of what a lot of people are doing to pass time during quarantine. I love the framing of the doll with the books, and it really puts the focus on her. I also like the text in her glasses, it's a really good detail, and the pages in the back also look super cool. 
The only thing I would say is that her face is a little bit shadowed, so try to get more weight on her face just to make sure she's the emphasis of the photo, and it also might look cool as if the books are giving her light, if you know what I mean. The next photo is from Nenea, and this is such a cool set. This is so cute and definitely represents quarantine. I love how much detail you put into this, and the person outside is a cute touch, and I love her mask and everything she's wearing. And you put the rule of thirds to use in this photo, which I think worked in your favor. The only thing I would say is there's a lot of different colors going on in this picture, and they don't necessarily work well together. So I would probably edit the grass to a more yellowish color to complement the house and the lights inside of the house. But otherwise, great job. The next one is from Nicole, and this is adorable. I think everyone is slightly losing their minds during quarantine. And this definitely represents that. It's so fun and very visually interesting, and it's impressive that you got her to balance like that. All the colors really work well together and her eyes are nice and bright and I love all the small details in this picture too, so great job. The next one is from Piper and this is amazing. I love the tiny pancakes and all the details in the photo. I can tell you put a lot of effort into this and I think it paid off. The flower on her face and her apron was a nice touch and all the pancakes in different places in the photo kind of create a common theme and I think it pulls the photo together really well. And um, I know I've been eating a lot during quarantine and I've been bored in making food even if I don't need to eat the food. <laughs> I've been bored eating a lot. But I think that this is cute and this theme is hard because I know a lot of like these photos taken out of context don't necessarily scream quarantine. But with the backstory this is adorable and you did a good job editing in the window and the plants. My only critique is that she's looking slightly above the camera. But I imagine this was a hard pose to put her in, so great job either way. And the next one is from Sonali, and this is adorable. The lighting in the scene is amazing, and all the colors look amazing together as well. Um, I love the color scheme in general. And this is such a great part of quarantine, rediscovering your love for dolls. I know I did. And this could be interpreted as somebody also getting a new doll, which a lot of people have been doing as well. So, again, out of context, it would be difficult to tell that this photo was taken with the theme of quarantine in mind. But if you know the backstory, then this photo is... Pretty perfect. The last photo is from Zoe and this is such a cute idea. We all miss our friends so the best way to connect with them is through video chatting and I love her outfit and she looks so cute. I would say that I would have tried to set up the phone somewhere instead of it just being a plain background and if you weren't going to have the phone itself somewhere, play Zoe somewhere more interesting um, because it just kind of looks like you popped her into like a phone and there's nothing wrong with that. I just think that if you did more with the background it would have added a lot more to this picture. Um, I would also brighten up her eyes a little bit, but overall this is a really cute idea.
it's AG World Sprinkles and my model is Nanea and this is my behind the scenes video for this week's theme which was quarantine. So the first thing I did to take this photo was plan out everything as you can see. So I basically made this rough draft of what I thought the photo was going to look like. It still turned out pretty similar. So basically what I planned out from the rough draft and from the photo is that Neneo is going to be in this small house that I made out of a box and inside of it we have a kitchen. Then we have some fairy lights to make the lighting better and obviously Nanea. And what this represents is that Nanea has to stay inside of her home because it's quarantine obviously. So that's why I decided to make her be inside of a small house. And then outside of the house I put this sign that fell apart but that looks good in the photo that says six feet apart because as we all know we have to stay six feet apart from people. Then over here I made this small shopping cart out of different pieces so that it shows that people are only going outside to get things they need which would obviously be food. So it has some tissues then it has some toilet paper that I made and food and we have Maddie who is next to the shopping cart in the photo and she is the one that is going inside of the house because she wanted to get all of the food and she's wearing a face mask. And then behind all of it, then we have a small car. So that's basically my photo. And yeah, now on to editing. Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Cycle 6, Theme 1, Quarantine. And these are my ideas for this theme. So for this theme, I'm doing a full luxury tent with Claire's sister and her dog. And so what I did for this theme was that I used a couple of chairs and the crutch and I taped the chairs on the crutch. And so then I had to place books on the chairs so that it would stay there and so that it wouldn't fall over. Then I used another chair. And then I'm using two of my dolls and I'm going to be using them as stands so that it can stand up and then it can look quite cute for Caroline. And then I guess that you guys will see my finished product when I'm done. All right, thank you, Hart, again, for letting me into this ag &E and I hope that you like my photo.
started ranking the photos this week, I felt like all of you were pretty equal, honestly. And yeah, so the order of this is kind of just how I took it. Like, I don't know, it just kind of came, but I think all of you did an amazing job this week and it was really hard to rank you, so. Without further ado, here's the best of bottom two. As for this week goes to Anna, I just think that you portrayed this theme the best and just kind of showed the overall aspect of quarantine, which is, although you have to stay inside, sometimes you have to go out and get food for your family and you have to wear a mask and you, all this kind of stuff, so I think you did a great job representing it. Next is Sonali, then Nicole, Nenea, Piper, Blair, Armani, Evangeline, Mindy, Caroline and the bottom two are Julia and Zoe. So to both of you, you guys did the same type of photo and I think it was really cute, but I think it could have used a little bit more creativity on both sides. Um, I just think that the setting of the photo wasn't super visually interesting and I think could have done more with it while using the same concept of like FaceTiming. So the person who's going to be going home is Zoe. Thank you so much for investing your time in this competition. It means a lot and congrats on making it to the top 12. It's a 5% acceptance rate, so that's pretty insane that you even made it here. So thank you so much and yeah, thank you for all your time. So the theme for next week, I know the group chat has been dying to know. They've been bombarding me and I've been trying to not tell them, but I can finally tell you guys it is lyric week. So basically what that means is you're going to take a lyric from a song and use that to influence your photo. So you can take any song, you just have to let me know what the lyric is when you email me so that I can kind of know the inspiration behind the photo. But I think this is super cool and I think that you guys will have a lot of fun doing it and there's endless possibilities for it. So I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. So thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of AGNDM Cycle 6. I'm so excited for the cycle. There's so much talent and I can't wait to see what everyone creates. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!